Hello, Scorpio. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Scorpio? What is Scorpio needing to know at this current moment? Please and thank you. Messages for Scorpio. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What is Scorpio needing to release? The chariot. What is Scorpio needing to focus on? Justice. Who is focused on Scorpio? Nope. Who is focused on Scorpio? And what is the advice for Scorpio? Advice for Scorpio. Overall energy, unity. Okay, traditional viewpoints or methods. Spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Okay, we'll see as we dive a little deeper. But starting off, we have the Page of Cups which is a new person enters your life, a relationship begins a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. It could also represent an apology as well, but let's see. Clarify the Page of Cups as the current energy for Scorpio. Two of Wands, Six of Swords. Okay. Um... I believe that you guys were dealing with someone who was emotionally immature and you waited for this person to get out of their comfort zone and come towards you, to approach you, to come towards you. And I don't get that you've received that. I don't get that this person ever got out their comfort zone to explore this relationship. So they've left you with no other choice but to move on, to move on with your life. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's clarify the Five of Cups as a challenge for Scorpio, which are things not turning out the way you've hoped, not seeing the positive in the situation, and crying over uh, spilled milk. And I am getting that that is pertaining to this situation where you feel like things just did not turn out the way you were hoping that it would. Um, let's see. Clarify the Five of Cups for me as a challenge for Scorpio. Four of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting that you felt rejected by someone. And you're upset because this situation just did not turn out the way you were expecting. Some of you guys were expecting this person to offer their love to you and they did not. So it looks like you're still grieving this. The energy that's coming towards you is the Eight of Cups. So a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So some of y'all are going to make a decision to officially move on, which I see because in the current energy, you're showing up as the six of swords. So you're not moving on just yet, but you are being guided in a different direction. And it looks like coming up very shortly, you're going to officially move on from this. So if you felt like this relationship has been holding you back, even if you're not like in a connection with this person, it's like you still feel this strong energetic connection between you and this person. I'm getting that you'll finally be able to disconnect from this and move on with your life. Clarify the Eight of Cups for me. Justice. Seven of Swords. Okay. Some of you guys also, uh, just by you walking away from this is going to be justice for this person because they were deceitful towards you. I'm getting, some of you guys, this person played games with you. This is going to be their karma. Losing you for good is going to be this person's karma. Let me write that down <laughs> so I don't forget. Because I never remember. And then sometimes the title. So I'm like, I don't remember what it was. Okay. All right. Let's see. 
clarify the chariot as what uh, Scorpio is needing to let go of. And what I'm getting, um, because this one is an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Um, some of you guys felt like if you were to achieve something significant, if you would receive public recognition for something, then this would like get this person's attention and prove to them uh, it's it's like you would have proved yourself to this person. But the universe is basically saying you don't got shit to prove to them. You don't need to prove anything to this person. They will know. I'm getting like they already know. Because really, they're thinking about you. It's, it's not like they don't think about you. It's just they're emotionally immature. They're too emotionally immature to approach you the right way. Their karma is losing you. Their karma is you just walking away from this for good. Because they keep playing games. You don't need to achieve anything, conquer anything to prove a point to this person. Just by you walking away is enough. Um, let's clarify the justice as what you should be focused on. Let me see. <clears throat> Archangel Ragel. If I said that right, let me see. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Okay, so some of you guys are being guided to do what is right. And that means for yourself as well. Are you putting your needs to the side for someone else? Let's see. Clarify uh, justice for me. Three of cups. The will of fortune. Yes. Yes. I'm getting that you guys have some big happy changes taking place or will be taking place in your life. Um, some of you guys will be celebrating some major achievements here, but they're basically telling you enjoy time with the people who love you, who celebrate you, the people who want to see you do well and quit focusing on the people who don't appreciate you. With the will of fortune, some of you guys are also needing to work with the, the universe uh, as you're manifesting things, learning to work with the universe a little bit more. I'm getting like for someone, instead of like trying to uh, take things into your own hand, they want you to trust in the uh, trust in the universe a little bit more to deal with a certain situation, especially if it's just like you would like to see someone punished for the way that they treated you, that will be settled. You got justice showing up in two separate decks, which clearly states that karma will be settled in this situation. So you don't need to take it in your own hands. Let's clarify the Page of Swords as the person who is focused on Scorpio. Now, the Page of Swords representing someone who is logical, honest, they can be impulsive at times, very curious, um, let's see. Clarify who this person is for Scorpio. Seven of Cups. So it's someone who doesn't know much about you. Um, let's see. Give me more about this. So it's someone who's curious about you, Scorpio. Someone who's curious about you. They're not sure about you. Because if you see in this Seven of Cups, this person's like, mm, should I go for that or not? I'm not sure. So this is not the same person. This is a different person. Two of Pentacles. This is someone who's not sure about you. They're not sure. They may be going through like the ups and downs of life with the two of pentacles right now. But they're definitely, I, they're not sure about this. I'm not getting that you guys know each other that well. Because they're curious about you. Five of Wands. It may feel like you have a lot of people that are fighting for your affection. Eight of Swords. This is someone who feels insecure.
Um, okay, the message that I'm getting, I, I'm going to have to dive a little deeper into this because I'm getting that this is someone who has some healing work to do because with the hangman showing up, it's someone who is willing to sacrifice a lot for other people. Um, but that's not necessarily a good thing because especially if you're neglecting yourself. And in this situation, I feel like this is someone who has a tendency to neglect themselves and sacrifice so much for others. Let's get a little bit more on this person. How else will Scorpio know who this person is? Ace of Cups. So it is someone that you will find yourself falling in love with or you have found yourself falling in love with. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, quite possibly you met this person before and nothing developed out of the situation because this is someone, it's almost like this energy of someone who is like, hmm, I wonder what Scorpio is up to. I wonder how they've been. They're very curious about you, Scorpio, but they're not sure about you. And part of the reason is because they feel like you get a lot of attention from other people. And they don't necessarily like that. Um, they have their own insecurities that they're dealing with. Quite possibly they don't feel like they measure up to you. Or at some point they felt that way. Because what it's like at first it was the Ace of Cups being offered. It was like falling in love with this person. Um, opening your heart up to this person. This person falling in love with you and opening up their heart to you. But now it's turning into something solid. Like, it's like there was a new beginning back in the day. I don't know when you met this person. I'm not sure. Some of you guys, it could have been eight years ago. But it could have been a little minute. Like, this is someone, it seems like you know this person, but you don't know them that well. Or I'll say you met this person. You don't know them that well. Um, and it doesn't look like things move forward in this relationship. It looks like this person has some work to do on themselves. Quite possibly you have some work to do on yourself. But when you initially met this person, I'm getting it was the Ace of Cups. It was you and this person. It was love. It was emotion. It was like you're attracted to, the, you're attracted to this person. They were attracted to you. But it wasn't nothing. It wasn't solid. It was just emotions. Now, there's a new beginning, it looks like, that will be taking place between you and this person. And what's so funny, Scorpio, your advice is the Ace of Pentacles. So quite possibly, you are being guided to accept this offer from this person. Um, but we'll dive a little deeper into that because I feel like there is a new beginning that's taking place between someone that you've met before, but things just did not develop in this relationship. Um, this is someone that you have a great time with. And yes, I am getting that this is something that has been developing for a long time. Um, it's something that has been manifesting for a long time. And it looks like now this will, it's, it's finally ready to manifest. Okay, let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay. Whew. I almost had them all mixed up. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for me. The inflow of abundance, a promising business adventure, important documents or contracts as well. Hermit, death, and rebirth. I'm going to need one more for this. And we got the Temperance too. Three major arcana cards. Let me get one more for the Ace of Pentacles. One more. We got four major arcanas. Five major arcanas. The Hangman is showing up. So this is a very significant new beginning that's about to take place for someone here. And this new beginning looks like it's going to be with someone you already know, Scorpio. Not someone you were in a relationship with, but it's someone that you know. And it looks like, I don't know, like you and this person crossed paths. There was chemistry, nothing developed, right person, wrong time. 
Now, this time, it's the Ace of Pentacles. So, it's ready to manifest. This relationship is finally ready to manifest. So, this is someone that you've fallen in love with back in the day, but it just was not the right time for you and this person to be together. Because it looks like this person was dealing with a lot of insecurities and they felt insecure being next to you because you received a lot of attention. It looks like this time around, this person, I don't know, it's like this is someone that you haven't seen in years, Scorpio. Years. Because I'm getting with the strength showing up here, like the confidence coming from this person, you're going to feel like this is someone completely different. Like you'll feel like you never met this person at all before. They're very confident, very courageous. This is someone who has been through a lot. Someone who has learned to tame their wild ways. So this is someone who's extremely mature. They have experienced a lot since you guys have last seen each other. With the temperance, this is fine and peace within. So I'm getting this is someone who has learned to master uh, alchemy here. They've transmuted some energy. Yes, death and rebirth. Things ended between you and this person. Meaning, when you met this person, there could have been an amazing attraction, chemistry between you and this person, but then you guys went your separate ways. I don't get that you've heard from this person in a while. Because with the hermit showing up here, this is basically saying, hmm, I wonder what this person is up to. There's darkness. This person is surrounded by darkness. There's hope because there's light, but they're still surrounded by darkness, meaning neither one of you knew what was going on in each other's life. But there was still hope for this connection. Um, let me give one more and then we'll move on to the next deck. One more. The High Priestess in the Tower. You know it's coming. You knew it was coming. High Priestess in the Tower. You knew. I'm getting that some of you guys knew that the universe was going to intervene in this situation. Or you knew that this was going to take place. You knew it was coming. Is basically what I'm getting. You've just been waiting for it to come, though. Not necessarily waiting, but it's like anticipating when it was going to finally happen. Okay, give me more for Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to know? Passion. Our love is real. I love it. There is a, an amazing connection between you and someone else. And I am getting, I think I've gotten this for you guys before. It's either you or Sagittarius. And we have Sagittarius showing up to Scorpio, Virgo, and Leo showing up in your reading. And Libra as well. <clears throat> Those are the ones that announced me. Pisces as well too. But I'm getting whoever this is that you're connected to. There is a lot of chemistry between you and this person. I'm getting when the two of you finally reconnect. Like the sexual chemistry between you and this person is going to be off the charts. And I'm getting that you both, um, look, have dealt with karmic battles. Had to find your, you had a, I'm getting the both of you has to find your way back to yourself again. After dealing with some toxic relationships. That's something that two of you will have in common. It's like having to find peace within again after dealing with some karmic relationships. But knowing that this connection is real has been a challenge because you both have questioned your sanity when it comes to this connection. <laughs> and what I mean is like you both felt this insane attraction. You both felt this strong connection. But the fact that you guys are not communicating with each other, it, lo it looks like it's someone that you met briefly. Like there was not, um, it was not a strong relationship between you and this person. Or you didn't have the opportunity to truly develop a relationship. So it's like, is this real between us? Is this real? Or am I just hallucinating? Am I tripping? But yes, it is real. I'm getting that you both are well aware of that. But again, with a lack of communication, it's hard to really know for sure. But I'm getting that that, that lack of communication is going to come to an end very shortly here. 
Give me more for Scorpio. What else is Scorpio needing to know? What else is Scorpio needing to know? Journey, coffin, poverty, mature woman. So this is talking about your person. The person that you once know this person to be is long gone. They're not that person anymore. I don't know. It's like when you met this person, they were immature and insecure. Some of you guys, they also have financial issues. They were struggling financially. They're basically saying this person's journey in this lifetime, everything that they have experienced since you've last seen them has allowed them to mature, in the pers mature into the person they are today. So when you see this person, they're not going to be the same. I'm getting like there's sternness in their face. And you may be used to like this person being soft and gentle, um, childlike. But there's, I'm just getting there's more sternness. And it's not like, I don't, it's not anything bad. But you're going to notice that there is a significant, there has been a significant change in this person. And you'll realize that you're not talking to the same person that you met years ago. But I do see like who they are today will allow the two of you to have the relationship you desire to have with them in the past. But it'll be a different one. It'll be even better because you both are in a good place to give to a relationship. So I'm going to leave it there. Scorpio, these are the real, <laughs> these are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.